goes on psyllium husk, and if that's a recommended thing, if you can get the organic psyllium husk, um, it does add basically bulk fiber. But if you're eating a lot of greens and a lot of vegetables, you're getting a lot of fiber. So if you are having trouble with constipation, then psyllium husk can help. I've got some over here, actually. For those of you who are not familiar with what psyllium husk is, this is a... They, it's the same fast that they put in that Metamucil, except this one doesn't have any of the added sugar or stuff that they put in it. It's just the plain whole husk of psyllium. Um, if given a choice, this would be far better for you. Oh, yeah. And there's no reason why, you know, you can get it at the health food store. This is organic psyllium seed husk. Um, it helps because it's pretty much stripped down fiber. You know, it's like the, the fiber itself. So you could add it into a smoothie. Huh? Close to read it. This is the one I've got. But uh Yeah. And it's got a lot of fiber in it. Basically it is fiber. So if you're having trouble, that's not a bad thing to do. But really, get started on the green smoothies, and that irregularity issue will go away pretty quickly. I had a lot of people who, we did a, um, my business partner, Dr. Rita Marie, she did a uh, green cleanse with people not too long ago. And man, they were uh, having all sorts of <laughs> constipation, um, I would say. Issues. You no, know, they had constipation issues. They weren't having them anymore. So I could say it helped. People were first trying raw food diet is that they, they do like way too much nuts and not enough greens, which is why I like to try to teach as many green type recipes as possible. Um, they also a lot of times will over, so basically overdoing it on fat. Um, for the vegetarians, I see a lot of times they'll end up overdoing it on the cooked carbs. You know, they'll eat tons of rice and or they'll go with the processed type stuff, which is not good. Um, um, so, but you know, when you're first starting, I think that you've got to just be really loving and, and nice to yourself because you are making a big transition. And so any transition towards health is going to be a good start, you know. Whether that means, okay, I'm just going to start by doing green smoothies in the morning and not change anything else. That's still better than nothing, you know, and it can get a lot of benefit from that. So trying to, I always tell people, you know, Sometimes when you do go and change your diet, if you, especially eating more of a standard American diet, eating potatoes and heavier foods like that, then you need to maybe try to switch to a vegetarian diet first or switch where you're doing a couple of days that you're not eating meat or something like that so you can kind of transition into it because you can go through kind of some detox reactions. Is a detoxification period a good idea or necessary? Um, most people will have it um, if they don't kind of transition slowly anyway. But basically, once you start removing toxins from your diet, your body will just naturally start detoxifying. That's just part of how it works. Just feeling better. And you'll start feeling better. Um, but sometimes in the beginning, you can have some what, what they call, um, it's like Herzenberg reaction, or um, what it is, is it's like detoxification symptoms. So for some people, you may get a little congestion. You may get some headaches, you may get some stuff like that, because basically your body is trying to get rid of a lot of this stuff that's been stored in your cells for so long, and now it finally has a chance to clean some of that stuff out. So you may think you're getting the flu, and you're not. It's actually your body just kind of getting rid of stuff. So um, I think if you kind of transition from, you know, let's say you're doing all meat and you're just really heavy in that, we'll switch back to lighter meats. So maybe go to fish or something like that, and then maybe go and do more vegetarian days or do a couple of days that are vegetarian and then gradually shift into a healthier diet as, as it gets easier to you and you start adding in more recipes. I don't normally recommend people that go from a standard American diet straight to a 100% raw diet because you're going to you can have some <laughs> major reactions. Your body will start cleaning out like crazy. Um, so I like people to kind of you know make gradual changes so it's not like so much on your system at one time. The other thing is I've seen people go on these detox programs and stuff like that and they eliminate all this stuff for a few weeks but then they go right back and they eat the same stuff the week after. It's like well, what's the point of cleaning all that up? You're just going to go and gunk yourself up again. You know? If you're really committed to wanting to make healthier lifestyle change then make it a change. You know? Just 
do it, gra do it gradually, do it at your pace so that it's not like, oh my gosh, I'm giving up everything and, you know, you're throwing yourself into craving land and, you know, having problems because that's not good. That's not the way to live. So start adding more and more good stuff in until that other stuff is just not as appealing. I mean, that's just kind of what happens. The more good foods you eat, the more your body will talk to you. It'll give you reactions when you start to eat the bad stuff. And it'll say, oh, I don't really like the way this feels.